Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for another Factions episode here on royal.mincadia.com. Of course, if you guys want to come check out the server, please consider using that custom IP because whenever you guys do, directly supports me in the channel. And if you guys want to support me even further and support yourselves, you can hop on and do slash redeem Royal on any realm on Mincadia. It's going to give you guys some free money and some free gold to start off as well as support me a little bit extra. But anyways, guys, if you haven't been keeping up with the faction series so far, I think we're doing pretty good. You know, we got our own spawners going over here in our own little uh, alt faction. As you guys can see, we are currently grinding blazes and we're going to be trying out a brand new strategy that I thought of. Well, just a strategy that I have never tried before here on factions that might be good for some starter money. Like if you guys are just starting off on the server, you might want to do this just to, you know, come up a little bit and then start investing in spawners because just in the last episode, I was selling XP. And then we sold all of our XP and bought ourselves a decent amount of IG spawners. And if we just hit a chunk info right here, we only have 81 IGs. But if we take a look, $60 million basically overnight. I just barely hopped on the server. All right, I went to the, woke up, went to the gym, got on, and that was basically it. We had 60 mil chilling in there. I know it's not a crazy amount of money, but at the point that this video is being recorded, it is still super early into the map. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be grinding out XP, selling that XP, but I also want to build god set in today's episode as well and we're gonna be doing some god set pvp with the faction i just have to buy like an orc set which hopefully isn't too expensive i can make the orc set i just need the orc pieces but guys right now i'm recording this because if i do slash challenge i have never looked at challenges on my kd in my entire life but currently there's a coal miner challenge we're not doing any of this i don't know who the hell is mining coal but there's also an Enderman Destroyer. This could actually be low-key pretty easy to place on. As you guys can see, this Willis guy and Luciano only killed one just so they placed top three. But there is an XP grinding challenge. I am already in third place, guys. And like I said, I barely hopped onto the server. I don't think anybody's beating B-Bite here. But I'm about to pass up Pandas for life. And I barely got on. So I don't know what kind of rewards this actually gives you. But we're going to be trying to place on these challenges as much as possible. If it's like killing blazes or grinding XP, I feel like we can place every every single time the challenge will end for an hour and a half but i'm about to just throw on a movie we're gonna grind out some xp we're gonna sell that xp hopefully place on that challenge we're gonna get second unless b -Bite decides to stop grinding but not only that there is one other method that we can use in this strategy okay let me just kill off this blaze stack and then i will show you guys i also wouldn't mind getting a higher level xp pet i think mine's like level 25 right now but we could invest into buying some pet candy just to get a level 100 xp pet but the problem is i just know xp pets are so common later into the season that spending that money on an xp pet right now i just don't know if it'll be worth it and we'll actually get a return on it but we also do have a hundred million dollars right now from basically selling our xp so that is still super good i might want to buy a couple more blaze spawners as well if i age search blaze are there any on there oh, i mean there's 31 25 mil though that is a tax buddy wait bro that's dead ass more than the regular shop is that guy brain dead yo somebody bro somebody check this guy but anyways the other method is going to be slash quest again i have never done a quest scroll in my entire life but i think I think, I think they give you decent rewards. So a legendary quest scroll right here is 250k per quest scroll. I think there's like a limit as to how many you can buy. Oh my God. You can only buy one every 12 hours. Wow. But I know what a lot of people do is they literally just buy them on alts. So that's something we can do. You guys can see we have the legendary quest scroll right here. Let's see how hard this thing is to do. So we got to apply three black scrolls. Absolutely light work. Um, I'll just grab some like trash ones right here. And then I have a bunch of G kit. We're just going to bang, bang. And then, oh, okay. That destroyed the boots all good grab this right here boom and then that is done now we have to break 283 dirt it's stuff like this bro these challenges do low-key look pretty easy i can't lie i don't know if they get harder the more you go because you have to complete six little challenges to complete this quest scroll but for right now we're not going to focus on that i simply want to focus on getting second in the slash challenge we're literally already about to pass this pandas guy so i don't think it'll be that much of a sweat but yeah we're gonna grind till this challenge is over and i'll bring you guys back in an hour and a half all right guys the challenge is about to end and i've already made a decent amount of money off xp i'm gonna be honest but i bought some more blaze spawners to try and get an infinite stack i think at like 320 we'll have basically an infinite stack of blazes so we're about like 40 off or something like that but the challenge is about to finish and i just want to see what we win this could be absolutely terrible and this could be a wasted clip or it could actually be you know maybe kind of decent so we'll see maybe i've won these challenges before because i somehow have kdo roll tickets in my inventory but i never paid attention to them i didn't even know they were a thing but yeah basically only me and bby are grinding xp for the server right now and i believe we're both selling xp so we're just kind of uh supplying right now but bang there we go it just ended and oh my god wait hold on okay chunk busters those are useless gas spawners 
better though enderman mystery mob a thousand x ten thousand xp a hundred k and five million whoa okay wait the five mil is low-key pretty good obviously the ten thousand xp is straight useless but we can also throw down this gas spawner hey that challenge actually wasn't that bad i wonder whenever they put another one up there though because if they could just keep throwing up xp challenges bro me and b by are gonna win every single one of them anyways pop this mystery mob spawner Ooh, a blaze hey i take those okay that was not bad for a little uh quick challenge that we were gonna place in anyway i wonder what first place got though hopefully b by logs off sometime soon and we can actually try and place first on one of those but oh my god bro off camera guys i literally bought a level 100 experience pet for three million dollars i was using like a level 20 for the longest time did i accidentally slash trash it oh i think i trashed my xp pet but it's fine because now we have a level 100 look there's one in here for two mil bro i was absolutely throwing by not looking for this a little bit sooner i thought they were still kind of rare but yeah now we have a level 100 xp pet as well anyways we have a decent amount of xp on ah right now i already sold a couple uh 1 million bottles but they all sold so now we have four up there which means i think we can take a break because i don't know when the next challenge is gonna spawn in it just says ended so let's go ahead and work on this quest scroll we need to mine like 300 dirt or something can we pop oh we can pop our kids again that is perfect bang grab another six mil right there and i believe the slash fund is just open up to where we can open kadia roll tickets now so we'll open all of these sometime here pretty soon but here we go we have our captain shovel over here let's just hit a slash wild and find ourselves some dirt just like this to knock out this quest scroll i think the strategy is you probably want to get your faction members that aren't doing uh quests to buy those scrolls like you pay them the xp and then they buy the scroll since there's a 12 hour cooldown per account and then you just do them all at once just in case you get some of them with like dupe challenges you can knock them out but bang just completed that kill three players oh i didn't know it was gonna be like that pvp is clearly not my thing at all so it looks like what we're gonna do is we are going to buy ourselves an orc set they're about two million a piece i just want the pieces right here um or wait ooh. i mean we could technically afford to buy these super expensive ones right here but if i can just grind the xp we'll save a lot more money if we just build our own so now we're looking for a chest plate and a helmet there's a helmet right here but that's 10 mil right rather just a plain one this one's 16 mil and it's like fully built we might just go for that yeah wow bro the only options left are fully built pieces but that's gonna cost us 40 million dollars that is a hefty price so listen i'll just take a cut right here until like there's some cheaper pieces up there that we can literally just buy and build ourselves but guess we're gonna make a god set get some pvp in right now all right guys we are back and i've been putting in absolute work off camera the xp selling strategy has been going crazy i only have 118 million in my balance but i've been spending money on spawners so i'll show you guys the spawner update here in a second okay because right now the faction is actually running isla dungeon portals and i've already tried to do one of these and i died in literally the dumbest way possible but we are going to be running these isla dungeons because guys they are literally so overpowered right now the bags that you get from these are godlike you can sell them for money but i'm probably just gonna open them and my frames are currently terrible here okay there we go i think the frames fix like right around here but we're gonna be running these as the dungeon portals i just talked to a faction member and they said that we have literally seven of these portals so if i can buy seven keys i will be buying seven keys but to make this worth it i have to actually complete the dungeon i already bought a key for 15 million dollars and i ended up dying so i got nothing i literally threw 15 million in the drain so let me take a cut right here just in case i die in this one too i'll bring you guys back whenever we open up some boss loot bags not boss loot bags some dungeon loot bags my bad all right guys we have made it to the end of the dungeon unless we have another colossal breakdown we should be getting dungeon loot bags i believe swatting is fighting the boss right over there so has a decent amount of health but you got to teleport from color to color or you like insta die if you don't get in in the given amount of time that's why we all got teleportation bows pointed at this guy over here or there's another color way over there at blue and boom head to green bang there we go as you guys can see there is i think this is supposed to be the shield i don't really know but you got to get in here or else you get like one tap wait is the dude the dude in blue i think he was afk because he literally just got beamed bro I feel like the next color has to be red so i feel like i don't even have to pull my bow back i can just you know sit and chill oh never mind it was green let's teleport on over and then hop back in and bang we just completed the dungeon let's go ahead and hop out thank god you get two dungeon loot bags right here we're gonna open these see what we get i did waste 15 million on a key but bang just like that we got 35 million back oh my god a level 100 seasonal pet bang ah beach ball pet is not very good i'm not gonna lie but we have another one and another 32 million dollars just like that holy hell 
we actually just made bank bro so now we still have six more portals to do these guys i'm gonna run up as many as possible but i do have to keep trying to buy um isla dungeon keys because i do not have any all right guys we just finished our last isla for the night we did end up failing one of them pretty unfortunate so if i look at my pv1 so we have six isla loot bags right here i invested you know a decent amount of money we are down to 111 million once again so hopefully we make our money back off these crates bang first one 45 million that is absolutely beautiful we got soul gems i think that might sell for a decent amount of money Ooh, two star of the world crates that sells for like 20 like 22 million per i believe i don't know i'll check off camera but uh, i just i didn't even see how much money we got out of that oh we got another 40 mil right there bang pop this another 43 million dollars if we could win some more star of the worlds um i wouldn't mind because i literally just want to make money a voyage portal yo this goes for fat money bro fat fat money bro this is 60 mil by itself bro this portal right here that is amazing and then next one bang another voyage portal jesus christ we just printed in cash and then some katie roll tickets those are a little cheeks i'm not gonna lie but let's see what we get out of these pets real quick bang bang creeper shield creeper creeper and a pig unfortunately we did not get a level 100 ig which would have been really really nice but yo we got two voyage portals that's 60 mil a pop i believe these are like 22 million a pop katie is go for like 6 million per and we are also at 352 million dollars from the money notes we made it out hella in profit bro that is amazing so anyways let me show you guys an update with our spawners and the base if we f join clickbait back we go to f warp cac and take a look at this thing over here or actually you guys aren't gonna be able to tell i'm gonna have to hit a slash chunk info right here i don't know how many igs we had in the last clip but now we are at a whopping 392 igs and i'm literally gonna spend this money right here on straight igs so let's slash shop we're gonna buy at least a stack and i can probably sell my entire farm once again if we slash chunk info now we have 450 oh wait no we have 459 igs we now have more igs than blazes you love to see it and right here we have 153 million dollars in this collection chest outpost do we have it oh my god we have the outpost f leave f join bleached wait no bro it's full this late at night okay it's fine we'll sell it some other time i do want to take a look in my ender chest because boom we have a quest scroll right here never eat soggy waffles i don't know how to do this i know that's obviously north east south west but i don't know like what do i do though do i craft a compass oh okay how do you do that so one redstone and then four iron ingots slash craft hopefully this actually uh completes it because i am not sure if this is the challenge bang and that was it craft three buckets absolutely light work i just want to show you guys what you win from these quest scrolls and again you can get faction members or something or alts and give them the xp and then they can just buy it for you and the next one oh my craft a compass again Again, hey i do not mind bro if these challenges are just dumb easy that is great for me so slash craft once again as long as i don't get like a kill players sheer three sheep i i don't have sheeps and there are no sheep spawners on slash shop bro okay see this is where you're gonna have to age search skip and then you're gonna have to buy some quest skips right here we're just gonna use it bang and then kill three players use it again kill three players again and use it again and these are the rewards you get two magma cubes right there um and then three million dollars honestly this quest wasn't that good actually no i take that back it was pretty good because you got two kadia roll tickets that we can once again flip into some more money so if you guys are just starting off try and grind out these slash quests obviously for the kill players challenges you can still kill your alts or just pay random people like 500k to kill them or just find a naked at spawn it's really not that hard it's just time consuming and i wasn't trying to do it on video but anyways yeah bro we sold so much xp and ran up a bag bought so many igs off camera and now i think we have a pretty decent amount of igs for where we are in the map and me being a solo player this is not bad and a pretty good strategy now i'm gonna take a cut i'm gonna go ahead get a little eight lore orc set or if we can make it 10 lores we'll make it 10 lores 10 lore orc set throw a chef mask on it and i guess try and get some pvp done all right guys well we wanted to go do some pvp i bought myself a quick little orc set and then i come to find out our pvp faction disbanded um so that's a little awkward i don't really have a pvp faction to go with unless it's obviously like breached and stuff but breached 
is usually full 24 7 packed out with people bro so yeah i guess we're gonna save the pvp for tnt and able but for right now we have some of the brand new hype boxes right here to get some more loot because guys i have spawners if i chunk info i'm up to a thousand igs and we have 400 million in this chest but i don't have any gear so we have some hype boxes you guys already know the deal we're gonna try and do some hype box battles and basically the goal is to just like multiply our loot if we do win these hype box battles so first one of the video let's go ahead and get that wait what you cannot open hype boxes while outside of safe zone oh my bad let's head over to spawn and now let's get this hype box battle going bro bang we have six hype boxes right here i don't even know what you can win out of these we just cop them real quick and yeah your boy needs some god set pieces bro if we can get like a full decent set that would be great like a rover set bro i haven't used a rover set in forever and hey we are in the lead i don't really need a thousand gold so that was kind of a useless reward we got an icy balloon i'm a human glacier wrist full of bro what's the what's the thing immune to death bringer damage wow that could be good and we just got a curse mark six i believe that sells for a ton of money bro it's a really good enchant if you curse mark you do double the amount of damage a chroma i will actually take it heroic rune pouches 100 mcmo credits we are winning this battle pretty handily if i do say so myself and dude did they make chef masks way more rare this season or what is the word because i only have one and oh oh okay we're not in the lead by much anymore i definitely don't need a full bard set i will never use that in my entire life so are we gonna get mirage mirage four i'll take it that's not a bad enchant and this is the final crate right here please don't pull anything insane if he doesn't we win and bang we won wait what did we just get what loot box is this? I can't see. I don't know what we got, bro. I'm just gonna place it down. This is a holiday loot box, bro. I didn't even get any of these. So let's see what we went out of this. That was actually a good win. A chroma. Okay, actually it wasn't that good. Could have definitely been better. We got another bard set. Are we serious? But let's hop into another hype box battle. Another three hype boxes right here. That was actually a pretty solid win out of the first one. I can't lie, but didn't really get any like god weapons or anything like that or like p5s that would be super helpful oh a blindfold off rip that is amazing oh but this guy got the full lover set so we are only up 70 dollars. but right now two very good rewards in the pot bro i could use some extra uh chef masks actually all oh, levy pieces would have been huge that's pretty cheap okay we're still in the lead somehow and come to think about it guys i have not won a golden knife in mad long okay it, i'm due and we got the full lever set as well don't really need two but i mean it gave us a big boost in the money department to win this battle we are up by like what 200 dollars. give me some p5s or like a god weapon bro it was right there the charm i think that had a soul reaper on it oh bro i would have killed for that i'm not gonna lie and another full bard set bro what the hell is going on we were one off the golden knife dude oh my god i just saw that we were literally one off last crate right here um we should have the win bang we had the win we got another mirage and we got another smoke balloon um two full lover sets now check me out bro we're only gonna grab three hype boxes because i won two in a row which means i am due to lose one so this is kind of like a throwaway battle i i wouldn't mind losing this one because it's only three and then we go right back in with six if we do lose this but i mean hey if we could just keep the win streak going for the entire video that would be a w this one was worth 238 dollars, so we are down right now but basically down by nothing it's basically tied oh one off the chef mask bro and he got a hybrid shard we are down big we need to pull something crazy right here this is also the last crate of the battle and i don't know no that's not gonna be enough so we ended up losing but again that was foreseen bro that was foreseen we big brained it three four five six going right back in oh we got a p5 versus the bandage boom we are in the lead just like that oh my god and he pulled a p5 as well are we still in the lead though we are still in the lead there's two p5s in here guys you know i need this full rover set oh we're losing aren't we we're losing by nine dollars please don't do this to me oh that is not good oh my god now we're losing big damn it bro we need to pull something really good we have two more tries here if this guy just pulls straight buns maybe we can win like okay that was pretty bad yes oh my god we got the charm that was worth 500 dollars, bro we're in the lead if he doesn't pull like a charm back we win oh my i did not know this thing was that crazy what the hell bang we just won and we got an extra chef mask bro what just happened that was by far the best battle so far two p5s we got the charm has a soul reaper on it reduces enemies enchantment luck by minus 25 percent proc rate we take those hybrid shard full rover set rover sets literally my favorite set on the server and we also got another lucky loot box right here drop this thing down see what we end up getting if we could win a hellhound or not not a hellhound bro uh a hellraiser i meant but we didn't win either so look this guy's trying to say he'll buy the charm sword not for sale buddy not for sale so bro we are pretty up right now um do i just go all in because i feel like i'm gonna lose 
if I go nah let's just go all in I've already won so much loot it is crazy hype box battle I don't know how many this is eight of them if we win this guys we are up tremendously but even if we lose it I'm not gonna be mad first one started it off um down like 140 bucks okay yeah not a great start but it only takes one win we did get a chef mask unfortunately the chef mask isn't really worth that much money in here but as you guys just saw it only takes one bro oh charm no no bro no we are getting smoked down basically 300 dollars right here we need to pull that charm right now right now oh wait does that okay that was worth a decent amount of money though that was worth a solid amount of money i think we made up a little bit of ground we're down like 200 now if we could have pulled that hellhound that would have been huge bro um I'm, this maybe is that 380 oh did we just come back no we didn't what the hell did they just pull two levy pieces nice nice this battle is absolutely juiced with loot and we're gonna lose weight blindfold bro we are pulling crazy stuff wait we're, we're in the lead we're actually in the lead by 20 dollars. holy hell this could be the greatest comeback of all time please just keep pulling bro two more two more crates what do we got no no that's not good enough oh he pulled one too we both just pulled a smoke balloon all right comes down to the last crate right here basically whoever pulls something better wins so i'm gonna watch his side um i think we're cooked i think we won Oh my god, we got a battery pet and we won. No way we just pulled all of this loot. Guys, we just made it out huge in this hype box battle this video. We only lost one battle and it was the one that I went three crates in. Holy hell. Let's actually see what we get out of these two levy crates though. Hopefully we don't pull an axe. Boom. Levy chest plate. We take those. Bang. And levy pads. I will take it. I highly doubt those are like the two rarest armor pieces, but we do have half of the levy set, guys. I haven't used a levy set on my Acadia in forever. They made this set dumb rare, but levy sets have also been buffed this map. You know what? I'm going to try and make a levy set next episode. If we can AH search leviathan oh i didn't spell that right hold on oh look there's boots in there for 385 mil and then helmet 700 mil i don't know if that's the right price oh wow the chest plate's actually super cheap and so are the legs those were the two easiest pieces to get that is tough but nah tnt is going to be enabled next episode maybe we hit a raid do some base pvp we're going to be in water I'm, I'm building this levy set. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this factions episode for right now. The money method, by the way, still works great at the time this video is being uploaded. I just sold like 5 million XP that I had left over and they sold basically instantly. So still a W method. But if you guys did enjoy, drop a like. Sub if you guys are new, obviously. Come check out the server with royal.mycadia.com slash redeem royal on here and on Pixelmon. It does directly support me, so I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I guess I will catch you guys in the next episode of factions.